Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow, and I'm going to tell you something. Bernie Sanders, and I mean Bernie the Burn Sanders, is quickly has become the front runner for the Democratic Party. And I'm going to tell you right now that this time around, Bernie Sanders already has more support than what he had when he was running against Hillary Clinton to see who was going to actually represent the Democratic Party. And I tell you, or independent, I don't know, but anyway, either way it goes, can you feel the burn? Because this man is coming on strong. My only question is, damn, how old is Bernie Sanders? What, like 105, 106 years old, something like that? However old he is, I think he's in his late 70s. Can he actually do a, a term all the way up? I tell you what, what I like about Bernie Sanders, and, and mind you, I don't like none of them, but what I'm, I'm just going to get my opinion right here. But what I like about Bernie Sanders is this, is that he knows how to reach the young vote. And whether people like it or not, he knows how to reach people. And he is going to be a serious contender this time around. I hope that he doesn't make the mistake and try to put Kamala Harris on the ticket as a vice president. Because isn't that amazing? Kamala Harris can't even get the black vote. She can't even get it. I keep telling folks, black folks ain't falling for their mess. How are you going to be one of the highest law enforcement officers there in California, jail all of your people, uh, and sentence them, and just to, and, 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 and then your record with downtown Willie Brown. Oh, anyway, Bernie Sanders would wreck his ticket if he was to put Kamala Harris on as vice president. Because now this is the key right here. That man, he's at the end of life in the window state. I don't know how long he may. I mean, how, he surprises me with the energy that he has. I'm glad. Uh, for, happy for him too. I hope he can keep it up. But they really, truly need to be seriously looking at who would run as a vice presidential candidate in a Democratic Party. Because you know what happens. Same old rhetoric, same old theater, same old pomp. The country, they get sick and tired of Democrats. Then they elect a Republican. Then they get sick and tired of Republicans. Then they elect the Democrats. Then they get sick and tired of Democrats. Then they elect a Republican. Then they get sick and tired of the Republicans. Then they elect the Democrat. And the independents, they don't even never have a dog in this race. Nobody pays attention to them because they can't get in on the debates, which I think is is um pretty bad. It's a pretty bad system when you have the independents out there who are campaigning and spending just as much as time, energy, and effort as anybody else out there to try to get on the ticket that they can't even get in the debates. How fair is that system? What kind of system is that? But anyway, I'm telling you right now, you can't. I, I know you are starting to because you can feel the burn. And he coming on strong too. And he actually looks pretty vibrant. He actually looks like he's ready this time around. He's ready the last time, but he looks like he is ready. It looks like he's in good shape too. We need to find out what he's doing because whatever it is, um, he's doing pretty dang good. Boy, I tell you what, Republicans, you better be ready. You better be worried because the burn is coming. And all the rest of them Democrats, them nonsense, man, they're going to quickly fall off like, like flies. And they, listen, listen, Kamala Harris you and all you people out there that think, look, look, just, just, just go somewhere and hide in a corner somewhere because you ain't getting a black vote. 